world in hardship and in ease to cherish and love forevermore. And do you, Alexis, take Patrick to be your lawfully wedded husband, to share your life openly, standing with him in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in hardship and in ease, to love forevermore. You've known each other for years, to that first glance of acquaintance, to this moment of commitment. At some moment, you decided to get married. From that moment of yes, to this moment of yes, indeed, you've been making promises and agreements in a very informal way. All those conversations that were held, riding in a car or over a meal or during long walks, all those sentences that began with, when we're married, and continued with, I will, you will, and we will. Those late night talks that included someday, somehow, maybe, and all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. Just two people working out what they want, what they believe, and what they hope for each other. All those common things and more are the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vows that you're about to make are a way of saying to each other, you know all those things that we promised and hoped for and dreamed of? Well, I meant it all, every word. So look at one another. Remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you've been many things to one another, acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, and even teacher. For you have learned much from one another in these last few years. You've learned that good company and friendship count more than wealth, good looks, or position. And you've learned that marriage is a maze into which we wander, a maze that is best gotten through with a great companion. Now, you are about to say a few words that will take you across a threshold in life. Things will never be quite the same between you. For after these words, after these vows, you'll say to the world, Patrick is my husband, Alexis is my wife. So Patrick, if you will now repeat your vows to Alexis. I, Patrick, take you Alexis. I, Patrick, take you Alexis. <laughs> to love, to love you and drive me crazy. To love you and drive me crazy. To respect you when we disagree. To respect you when we disagree. To support you in bad times when bad times come our way. To support you when bad times come our way. And to always remember how grateful I am. And to always remember how grateful I am. To have you by my side. To have you by my side. And Alexis, your vows, Patrick. I, Alexis, take you, Patrick. Alex. To be my husband. To love you when you drive me crazy. To respect you when we disagree. To support you if bad times come our way. And to always remember how grateful I am. To have you by my side. I would like, as you're standing there holding hands, I would like for you to focus on these hands that are holding yours here on your wedding day. For these are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you that are holding yours on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you throughout all the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no one else, none other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief temporarily comes your way. And these are the hands that will countless times wipe tears from your eyes, tears of joy and tears of sorrow. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children and these are the hands that will give you support and encouragement to chase down your dreams. 
These are the hands that will hold you tight as you struggle through difficult times. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And these are the hands that will lift your chin, brush your cheek as they raise your face to look into eyes that are filled with overwhelming love for you. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled in age, will still be reaching for you, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. May they have the ring, please. May these rings symbolize your inherent wholeness and unity with one another, giving you the strength to happily honor your commitments to each other. May they remind you that marriage is not a destination, but it is a journey with no beginning and no end, just as a moment-to-moment -moment opportunity to love and to be loved to the best of your ability. Patrick, as you place the ring upon Alexis' left-hand ring finger, repeat to her, Alexis, I give you this ring. Alexis, I give you this ring. That you may wear it. That you may wear it. As a reminder of my love for you. As a reminder of my love for you. And Alexis, as you place the ring on Patrick's left-hand ring finger, repeat to him, Patrick, I give you this ring that you may wear as a reminder of my love for you. Remember that your love is the basis for this marriage. Desire nothing else, fear nothing else, and allow your love to blossom into what love is meant to be. Allow for spaces in your time together, giving each other room to grow. Let love one another and allow that love to be a source of strength which feeds your soul. Fill one another's cup, but drink each from your own. Share your bread, but have each your own slice. Sing and dance together, but remember that though you may move together, you each must dance your own steps. None of us knows what the future will bring. The important thing is to live today to the fullest and to face tomorrow with the certainty that you can accept and handle whatever it brings. Alexis, Patrick, you've stood before me and this wonderful group of people who've come to share their love with you as well. You've joined your hands. You've shared your vows of commitment to each other. You've exchanged rings. So it is my pleasure, by the powers vested in me, by the state of Alabama, to pronounce you husband and wife. Patrick, you may kiss your wife. Do I need to tell him to get a room? Okay, thank you. Yes, if I can get uh, her bouquet. So ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, it's my pleasure to present for the first time anywhere, Mr. and Mrs. Patrick and Alexis Chatterton. Welcome them. Thank you.